All right, so now I'm gonna break down where we stand with um, with with our awesome, I guess it's 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 a it's a kiosk, and and this is normally in the in the in the VIP section. This is something that is um, an awesome direction. It cross markets very well with us, especially with our health and nutrition line of, of Bella Vita. The reason why I state that is we actually have something now that measures that it's working for you. Measures your blood pressure, your stress levels, your sleep at night. Okay, and it's got indicators that let you know if you're still obese or when you're healthy again. You know, I got to tell you, when I first got my watch and it said obese on it, I was like, this is the rudest piece of crap ever. Like that was, it, it's like my scale that I had to put away in a dark closet, right? And then I've lost this weight um, and, it, and I lost even more from the, the period of testing this and going forward. I'm no longer considered obese by my watch. So now I don't mind wearing it. It doesn't offend me anymore. And that was just proof. I, watching it happen and indicating in, in, in a sensing manner that I was doing the right thing for my body with Vela Vita. And it, it's, it's one thing to just know it and feel it, but seeing proof of it always helps too, right? It always helps too, especially on something like that where, you know, just in our health doesn't happen overnight. You know, it, we didn't get to a, a poor state overnight either. We worked on it, right? Some of us worked really hard years to get there and, and we want to undo it, right? It's going to take a while. All right. So that being said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you where this opportunity um, is, is tied to. Um, as far as Triple R two four seven, you know, I see this as a great tool to let you know that it's working. I also see it as a great thing that everybody should be part of because we should be decentralizing our health data. We should be protecting it. We should be the only ones with the key to it. And I can give it to my doctor when he needs to have it, but not in some area that can be hacked, tampered with, shared, used to um, put me in a in a state where I can be vulnerable or discriminated against because I have health indicators that says I might be diabetic or I might be at risk for a heart attack. You know, things like that are, are out there. Anybody that has bit technology, your, your data is going somewhere and they're using it to market to you. You know, the products you buy are, are, are known and based on what you're buying, you're gonna get marketed other things. Them knowing where your, your health is, they target on it. You know, marketing is amazing, right? And they get that data. But sometimes what sounds good or sounds like a positive thing also has a negative side. And then pretty much every time privacy of our health is, is very important. And it's a freedom that we should have. Everybody around the world should have. So let me pull this up. And, and I'm just telling you that as background, why we chose this as a direction to, to support. You know, as, as marketers, we can make a difference. We can get the word out there. We have tools because of the internet to literally share and disseminate information better than ever before, and it's getting bigger. It is, it, to me, it's an obligation when you find something to, that you can correct or make right, that you should join up with it and be a voice. That's what this is. So I'm gonna share the screen here. And we're going to go into the Vivo Smart Chain and Vivo and what it what it means. I'm going to kind of skim through this um, as quick as I can, but clear. And you can get with anybody that's that's part of the Triple R two four seven family as far as an instructor, and they'll be able to help explain this even more because you know we're pretty much into this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go down this really quick. Um, the Vivo is it's it's got its own smart chain. It's it's created on a forked Ethereum. Um, blockchain. Some people know knows what that means. I'll break it down in basic. Uh, blockchain is the, the next version of of uh, man. It's awesome. It's trustless spreadsheets. Basically, it is. There's. It's decentralized, meaning that nobody controls the database. Not one entity controls it. And then they have what's called nodes that are set up to validate the changes and agree to the changes by consensus. If everybody agrees that the change is valid, it's valid. No one thing can tarnish it or corrupt it or invalidate it. It's, it's a brilliant model. And, and the first thing that started that out was Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first blockchain innovation and cryptocurrency. And then, you know, these other ones came along and Ethereum came out, which is better, faster, and, and, and more. And, 
and Vivo needed to do a certain thing and they needed they ended up going with a fork which means that they made a change and they decided that something could go this direction um, based on how it was going to operate and they found they found the right solution for it and so they went on that and so they have their own smart chain Vivo smart chain it's actually built on the Binance chain smart chain off of that which is forked from Ethereum and it's it's important for those that are really geeky in it to know but it's also you know, it's it's going to be more transparent the more you learn about what blockchain is and how it's changing our world. But Vivo Smart Chain is the first, and I'm going to say that again, the first decentralized health platform. Now, decentralized digital health platform, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll say it fully. I want you guys to know that in my travels to Puerto Rico and New York and, and when I go to Miami's meetings with the cryptocurrency world, there are 20 major cryptocurrencies and blockchain sets um, that are all saying that in the future, they are going to create something that helps with decentralizing health. It's, it's a, one of those things that makes sense. And, and I'm just going to pause for a second here and, and give you some retrospect. History repeats itself. All right. I was, you know, I've been privy to some amazing things you all have, but the dot com, the dot com era, I guess, as we call it, came out this is a repeat of that in 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 simple terms okay and and let me explain back in the dot-com area the internet launches right and now we have this vehicle that we can do so many other things and it's going to revolutionize the world and it did okay and all these companies start up and, and they have ideas on what they're going to do and they go raise money and because it, it's such a great selling point of what it can do and where it can go investors are investing well they have the idea to do it didn't mean they're going to do it. And when you invest in something, you're investing that they're going to do what they say, right? You're like, oh my gosh, that idea is amazing. We're going to invest in it. Now, these big, huge companies and hedge funds, you know, that they're going to invest in several things, hoping that one pans off and that'll offset it. They're playing at a different level than the than a small investor. Okay. So they bring them in, they they suck them in, and you know, they, you know, they invest in all these things, and maybe you know, Yahoo booms up and but all the other ones didn't. But they get big wins, big, huge, tremendous gains in one that offsets their losses. Well, for the little guy, it's kind of hard to pick and choose because you pick something and you lose. It's usually you have, you have a bigger chance of losing a win. And, and that's kind of why the dot com thing just hurt a lot of people, right? And, and there were some great wins out of it, but there's a lot of losses because a lot of people had a great idea, no way to really execute it, no physical way to make it really happen. And they lacked marketing in a lot of cases, but you know, they raised a lot of capital. Okay. Fast forward, Web 2.0 comes out. We're, we're seeing the digital age change. We're seeing you know television be completely just passed over into digital release over internet, right? All sorts of things are adapting to this. And then now we're starting to see Web 3.0 where we're going to a very secure transactional blockchain, okay? Well, once people understand what the blockchain can create, all these ideas pop up, all these white papers come out about a token that they're going to raise money on because raising money on a token is the new ICO. Instead of doing a stock, we're doing a token that's digital, digital currency. We can break it down way more than the dollar. We can um, set limits to it. We can do things that make it, wow, it makes it like a perfect type of a currency world, right? As opposed to the fiat where we just print ourselves money at, at will. It does not back by anything, but the, uh, you know, because we said it's worth that, I can get into that more, but I'm not going to. And we have this direction to go with, with these, you know, cryptocurrencies that are tied to a project, you know, and we have like utility tokens and we have security tokens and all these different types of tokens. And what we're talking about is a, technically it's a utility token. Its purpose is to run the digital health platform, the, the first decentralized digital health platform. Now, all these companies, I told you there's over 20 of them that are saying they're doing something in health. They're raising money and people are investing in them based on what they say they're going to do. They're not executing it yet. It's right now, it's just a thought, it's a vision. Well, along comes Vivo. They've been working on this for seven years and got really aggressive going towards the smart chain concept to take their vision forward. And they figured out how to do it. There was delays, but they figured out how to do it on this forked Ethereum blockchain or, or um, smart chain. 
because it wasn't going to work on the direct ERC-20. It didn't, wasn't it robust enough, didn't allow things to happen that needed to happen. And this is how technology grows. So on this new thing they're doing, um, on this new chain, is theirs, and it's decentralized. But they're not talking about doing it. They're doing it. And we're part of the release of that. So we came in to get things going and help market it. And we're going to be first. We're first to market already. Um, no other company even has a device to tie it in. They, they, I don't know they're, what database they're trying to tie it into. But we have something that's done by proof of sensing. See, in order for this, it's its, its own little, um, what do you want to call it? It's an ecosystem. This is a decentralized digital health platform slash ecosystem. We need users to put data in. We need to have data that can then be sold to clients and it's all going to be protected in the whole, the whole frame, right? Well, to collect that data, we got wearable devices such as this watch, right? We already have it. I, I physically have had it for months in my possession, right? Many of Many of us in Triple R two four seven have our watches. We are now compiling and submitting data and filling the data banks, along with you know several hundred thousand people around the world. It's a start. As the marketing progresses and grows, more and more people start using it and submitting the data. The value becomes stronger and bigger, and the patterns that they can figure out in health and the directives of you know fixing health and, and helping healthcare around the around the world, country by country, is going to be affected by the data. It's not a chicken and the egg, it's a must have. You must have data in order to sell the data. And the more data we collect, the more that's worth. That's what this is about. And it's done. We're not talking about doing it, we're releasing it. So I'm gonna just roll you guys through this, this plan. Um, you know, Vivo, is, it's a brand new approach to personal data management in the sector of health and wellness data produced by wearable technology, biosensors, and IoT personal devices. It's already happening, okay? Um, and it's, it's a new ecosystem based on the sharing economy concept, meaning they've adapted the whole idea of not having to be something that just makes the corporate office all this money. It's spreading it across the users. So not only you know, are we able to utilize it, but we can benefit from that. You know, if you think about it now, your health data is not, you're not getting paid for your health data. If, if anything, we're paying into it all the time. Our data is worth money. And as marketers, collecting more data from people in a very secure anonymized macro way allows us to get benefit of spreading the word, right? Paid marketing, that's what we're getting. That's what this is about, right? So data distribution and monetization is shared through a sharing economy concept. And that is done through the value of the token. You know, the more tokens you earn by sharing the marketing and building the marketing teams you build, the more you're gonna gain from the, the wealth that this company creates from the actual use of the data. The more you do, the more you get. It's a partnership. If you guys have read my book, I talk about the world going this direction. Blockchain allows it to be done that way because you have a, a, a trustless database system that can assimilate all the numbers and make it work. You, you add that to a cryptocurrency, now we have a way to, to pay for that that can then be transferred and, and swapped into whatever currency I want to fund out to pay for things. The world's happening like that now. We literally can use our watch to pay pay for things because it, it it's it's through a Vivo Pay, it goes through a, a Mastercard payment system. These things are real developments that are here. We're not waiting for the technology to build that. That's here. Things are coming together, and more and more solutions are going to come together. And part of Triple R two four seven, we will vet out and add more of those things to market. It's a great place to be. Um, the first decentralized digital health platform is powered by Vivo Smart Chain. Okay using an Ethereum fork blockchain with an exclusive proof of sensing concept. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time explaining that. They have patented sensors on here. So it's more sensors than you would have on, say like an Apple Watch or a Samsung Watch or a Fitbit. And they have a sensing protocol that's called VS, it's, it's a POS VSC20 chip. And it has, and it provides the necessary security for the validation of the user's data on the Vivo blockchain. And they have what's called proof of sensing that generates the tokens or mines the tokens for the cryptocurrency utility token Vivo Smart Coin, BSC. Okay, that's how this works. Now, proof of sensing and the protocols. I'll, I'll skim through it really quick. Um, it's you know blockchain is created by proof of work. You know you got these big huge computers and and. Um, GPUs and CPUs that are processing these massive logarithms and um, algorithms and problems, math problems, and whoever solves it wins the block. 
and they they get that they get that you know uh, Bitcoin. Very complex process, very expensive in power and resources, but it validates the the, the minting of that uh, of, of Bitcoin. Okay. Then you have what's called proof of stake. Love proof of stake. That means right, I'm going to own so many coins and I'm going to purchase them and hold them, and they're going to be put on a node to validate the actual currency. And for doing so, we earn additional token, which is our reward. Based on the project, the token value can go up or down, and that's just how that works, right? Love that. And I'm bringing that up because we get to participate in that as well. The thing that's amazing about this opportunity is we're a user. We help market to gain more users and more data. We benefit from what the coin does, but we also can stake on the future and in the near future. We can participate in every aspect. We can even purchase coins in the open market. It's a lot of it's a lot of activity we can participate in. But as marketers, we can earn our way, sweat equity our way through building up coins and tokens, and therefore income based on what they're worth. Okay, the Viva Coin is the narrative cryptocurrency and the protocol token of the Vivo Smart Blockchain. That's how it's measured and done. The Vivo coin symbol is VSC. Vivo Smart Chain or Smart Token, that's whatever, okay? The Genesis block, and that's the initial launch block, is comprised of 1.200, it's basically 1.1 um, 1, 250 million, right? And so the VSC, um, and of which 500 million have been pre-mined, and an additional 750 Vivo coins will be offered during the VSC initial coin offering, which is um, scheduled the third quarter of this year. So June. Okay. That's a, you know, an important point. You know, point we, we're going to see a lot of things happen. The world's going to really know about this. It's going to be getting out there very well when this happens. Um, the, the investment world is going to know about it. And remember, investors, they invest in the idea of things. This is more than an idea. So, just point that out as I see it, right? Now, the Vivo coin usage, um, it's, it's used to reward IoT, biosensing device enablers, such as this watch. There are several other devices coming out. And it's to enable enterprises and researchers to pay to pull bio data from the DDH platform. That's the decentralized database for health, right? And the data credits, that's the second. So there's VSCs and there's data credits. Data credits are the VDC tokens, which are a USD pegged utility token derived from burning Vivo coins. So they'll have to buy Vivo coins, transfer them into data credits. They're gonna be um, basically burned to keep the value of the coin high for the use. And I'm, I'm saying this in basic terms because you'll hear it more and more and we'll go through it. It means everything's been thought out how to make this thing run as, as a proper process. Um, there's, a, there's an economic concept, there's a max supply, that 1.25, uh, 1, 1 trillion, 250 million. They say it weird, but they say 1,250 million, same thing. That's the max supply. It'll never go above that. And they're gonna maintain it below that. And, and it's done, data credits and burn and mint economics allow that to continue. And that means there's very low net emissions, meaning that we're not gonna keep burning, we're not gonna keep, we're not gonna burn the cash down too much, or we're not gonna keep, the, the token is, I should say token. We're not gonna be burning tokens faster than they're created, but we're also not gonna just be printing tokens. There's a set limit. That's what makes the value of a token better. And that's what drives token values up, right? That's why Bitcoin's able to go up, up, up. That's why it's been predicted to go to a million dollars, right? Okay. Um, max supply, I'll go over it again. Um, it's, it's already been launched, right? Launched March 1st. Um, and They've got a release amount, and then you know year two, and and so on as it goes through, and and then and they half it every year, so till the till the total amounts are going to come in there, and it's anticipated to be two trillion two hundred fifty million at max supply in years from now. Every, they're going to be you know mining some, and and then they have a way to you know maintain that. That's the ceiling. Okay, now Bitcoin has a ceiling, Ethereum they all have ceilings. That's what the ceiling of this is, and this is something some people want to know. They want to make sure it's not just open. Nothing, I don't think it should be ever be open. There's a, there's a problem with that, and that's good to know. So I covered it here. Data credits and burn and economics. Um, each data credit is going to be valued at a nickel US, but they can't be bought with fiat or any other currency. They can only buy by burning VSC. If the, the Vivo smart coin or whatever you want to call it, um, the VSC token 
right? The value of that is going to depend how many data credits they have. And, and as those cost more, they're going to create more data credits, but that, that's what keeps that value going, okay? And it's based on a design commonly called Berman and Mint Equilibrium, BME. And it's, a t it's intended to allow for the supply of VSC to respond to data purchase trends such that when equilibrium is found, the amount of VSC that exists remains static month to month. The amount of VDC produced by burning VSC will move up and down based on the USD price of VSC. It, it, it means there's an economic plan to keep values great with our token. Now, net emissions. It, Using net emissions, the Vivo Smart Blockchain monitors how many VSC were burnt to mint data credits in a given epoch, and it adds them to the number of VSC to be minted during that epoch. That's a time period. For example, if 10 VSC were burned for data credits in an epoch, the system would mint 10 more than were expected to maintain the equilibrium. Net emissions, meaning up, up, plus or minus, we want to have it to be stable so there's no so that's deflationary versus inflationary. We want the value to be high for these tokens, right? And we don't want to have a resulting reduction of supply. So this is a great plan that they have. And, and those that are getting more familiar with the, the blockchain and cryptocurrencies and how they relate, this is very important to know. That's why I'm covering it in detail. Mining difficulty. Well, here's the thing, right? The amount of VSC that can be mined by an IoT biosensing device varies depending on the difficulties rate as the difficulty factors determine the amount of the Vivo coin mined by device for each block data purchased or produced. So basically every, every wearable, they all have different things that are related to it. And the difficulty is altered based on what you need to do. And, and like, for instance, on the sensing, based on how many scans I run, how many steps I take, that creates the difficulty of the mining because that's how many scans are happening. There's an, there's an absolute, directive on how we earn those tokens or how they're mined and, and received. That's what it's talking about. And the difficulty can be affected by a net emission cap and how many more they allow to be created based on how many are being sold and then turn into data credits. The, the decentralized data health ecosystem will be built with the following key elements of the project, mine, use, and stake. And I'm gonna go through this just pretty kind of quick. The mining opportunity is available through the proof of sensing protocol and, and the POS VSC20 encryption chipset based on the devices. Using the benefits, that's how we're mining, okay? The more people we have using the watches, the more customers have using the watches, the more mining we're creating, and, that, and that's how the mining is happening. Use, um, well, we're, we're, we're using this, you know, this technology and we're getting our reports and we've got data streaming going on um, for, for the, the, the information on this and the reporting, that's how the use of these of this is happening, right? That's the service we're paying into. That's the service we get. And, and, the, and the proof of sensing technology is driven by this AI Oracle and everything else, right? That's the use. Now, the stake is, is something that is, is coming out later, but we, we, we will literally be able to participate in this where we can stake our token and receive rewards for doing so, very, very much like on interest. On, on those tokens we, we put on there to put on the nodes. Now there's seven already running. They're gonna be implementing 21. Eventually there'll be 200 nodes as this thing is bigger. And that's what's necessary to validate and run and maintain the ecosystem of the token. And that's that in phase four in the roadmap. And I, I'm trying to have the roadmap here. Now the two tokens that we developed with Burn and Mint Equilibrium to guarantee the maximum stability of the ecosystem. Very important that that was thought out. It is. Um, Distribution, 40% to miners, that's us with devices, 40% uh, to IoT wearable technology enablers, that's people that are customers, they're wearing the sensors or the watches and so forth. And then 20% will be allocated to stake and transaction fees and additional reward programs. That's what, the, that's what they're allotted for. Um, this, this goes into all of it there, pretty much the players of it. It's pretty simple, right? I'm just gonna skip through it. Here's the different wearables. This gives us all a little bit of what's coming in to come. Right now, most of us have the Vivo LifeWatch Generation 2s. They don't have that new chipset yet. That comes out in June. Um, there's a LifeWatch, there's the, the BioSense, and the LifeWatch Generation 3, of which aren't released yet, okay? Then there's the IoT devices, the Ligera 2, the Ligera 3, um, one without it, one with. Then there's the IoT bioelectrochemical sensor device. Those are patches. They are awesome technology. And you'll see some more information on those coming out. There's more devices that'll be coming too. Um, 
this is so there's other services that can be purchased you know with uh, data credits and 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 that creates that that uh, that burn process and then the uh the mining the, you know all that um i'm not going to go into it really quick it's a lot to cover but there's more things to be available in the in the in the, in the system um you know starting in march all these things are happening already um they deployed the smart chain the installation of seven nodes all these things have happened and and then we're going to go on from that I mean, I can I can spend a lot of time on here. We're already using this. We're already mining. We're already wearing the devices. Um, from here, we go to phase two in June, where the ICO for the hundred million US dollars is going to be run. That's going to really set up some more information about where this is going and the and the, the VSC coin. Then phase three, um, white paper two comes out. We actually are implementing the proof of sensing protocol, hardware and software. And then the data mining reward system will be migrated to the proof of sensing. So October 2022, the phase three completes. And that's a big monumental step for us here. You know, we, we are invested in this where it's going. We're participating in it where we know it's looking to go and where we believe it's going to go in the phases. And then we go to phase four. Um, this is a big deal. This is where the state capability and the opportunity is open to community members to reach full decentralization with validators and consensus node structure um, to deploy the first community running nodes on testnet. That's an important step. And then we're going to be at the milestone of 200 nodes to move to the main net. That's important. And this becomes a mainstream situation, big to run and, come, you know, and handle lots and lots of data. Um, phase five, second quarter, 2024. This is an amazing situation. Open data stream capability for data buyers with deployment of API and SDK to pull data from the DDH platform. So by then we're going to be creating more and more data, more and more patterns are going to be seeing all that stuff from our from the things going forward. And this is this is two years away. Literally, it's two years away. And then um, there's a there's an important part on here um, that I want to point out too. Let's see. This right here, the implementation of proof of sensing protocol, hardware and software. In the in the after phase three, when we get down here, eventually the third parties are gonna be able to create devices that operate on the protocol and that chipset. It it opens the world up for more creation and innovators and big companies that jump on board with this decentralized digital health platform. That's what that's the future that we're looking into and, and risking into, if that would that want to be. Okay, now I'm gonna close this down. I've covered a lot. I'm gonna show you another video really quick that explains the hubs. You know, every one of us that already did this, we already have hubs, at least six of them. And what hubs do is is very important. Um, let me stop the share really quick and share again. This is a great overview that was released to me. Um, we released this on Saturday. I'm gonna do it again now. It it has a really good message on how these hubs work it's you know we've got everything established now we're going forward to market let me show you how these hubs work you guys can understand it more after watching this Hello, and thank you for tuning in. There's a lot we want to share with you. And in this session, I'll be presenting our new EVO program, which has never been done before and is an exciting addition to our business plan. To give you a high level update, we've been working really hard to create a business plan that's streamlined, easy to understand, and has maximum payout. We also recognize that not everyone has the same financial goals, nor do they have the same experience or skills in this profession. So we created a truly hybrid plus business plan. Our unique plan gives everyone a choice of where they want to start. And it also means with Vivo, no matter which package you decide to start with, everyone starts from the same level and works their way up. Think of that as another advantage for your business. With every company I've been with, the more expensive the package, the more stockpiling there was, but the more commission I got. But I'll let you do the math. We don't do that here at Vivo. We believe that everyone should get a fair and equal chance by the effort they put in from the beginning and not by the dollars they invest into their business. So I'll be going through the following four rewards, which are 
Personal Hub Coin Reward, Referral Hub Coin Reward, Infinity Hub Coin Reward, and the Super Pool Coin Reward. As a Vivo Generation member, in your back office, you will be able to activate Hub Consoles, which I'll refer to as Vivo Hub or just Hub for short. Doing so makes you an Evo member. This slide explains your personal Hub Coin Reward. The first chart on the left of this slide shows personal earnings from your Vivo Hubs. That can be from 25 to 45% of all Vivo coins produced. As you can see here, the image of the hub below the chart can bind up to five Vivo devices, including your own. The number of bound devices from your hub will determine your weekly Evo tier. So our example on the right of this slide is if you have three hubs with a total of 11 devices bound. Then when you check the Evo tier chart to the left, you can see that you're at an Evo tier of 11. So you would receive 35% of the Vivo coin produced. The Evo tier determines weekly personal rewards from all hubs. Not only that, every owner of a device bound to another member's hub will earn back 5% of their Vivo coin production. You'll soon see how this can become a positive snowball effect. What you need to remember to earn the Vivo coin reward is that you must have one Vivo hub with at least one device bound producing blocks. And that first device bound will probably be yours. This slide shows your referral hub coin reward. So every personally enrolled Evo member who has an active hub now becomes your first line Evo referral. Your Evo referrals who participate in the Evo rewards with at least one active hub becomes one of your Evo branches and you can also see which tier they're at. As you know, each hub can bind up to five devices. So as you can see, your number one EVO referral has a tier of eight, which means they have two active hubs. Your number two referral has a tier of 14, which means they have three active hubs. Because of your important role of bringing members into the extra vivo opportunity, who will march to our mission alongside you, you earn a percentage of the vivo coin produced by their hubs. So for this reward, your percentage depends on their weekly evo tier. As with your personal rewards, the evo tier is determined by the number of devices bound to a hub. So in this case, it means the hubs of your evo referrals. In the chart below, your referral hub coin reward is also tiered, and your rewards can go up to 25% of the Vivo coin produced if your Evo referral has an Evo tier of 21 or more. Again, to earn these rewards, you must have one hub with at least one device bound and producing blocks. So let's get into the Infinity Hub Coin Reward. This reward is the most exciting part of the Enhanced Vivo Opportunity because it allows you to receive a percentage of the Vivo coin produced from every second hub in your first line to infinity. This part is a little more complex, so please follow me on the screen. So we start by organizing your first line of Evo referrals based on their number of Evo branches from left to right and most to least. So here you can see your first line starts with eight branches to zero branches. The evil referral with eight branches is designated as your first evil branch. So the branch with the next most is five branches and it's your second evil branch and so on. The number of branches is the only criteria we use to organize your first line of evil referrals and you'll see why it's really exciting and beneficial for you to help others build out their branches. From all of your even numbered EVO branches of your first line, which are highlighted in teal, the system will then search for all odd branches in your second line continuing to infinity. That's why you see the odd numbered circles in gold because that's who you earn on. Again, through to infinity. It just keeps going as long as the system finds an odd referral or odd branch. Notice the grayed out circles? It means that they're not part of the infinity rewards. Here's an easy way to know which referrals you can earn from. All you need to remember is your first line is even, then second line odd to infinity. That's why you see the even numbers after your first line grayed out because 
From there, only odds are part of the infinity reward. You'll also see some circles that have a slash. That just means they have no referrals or branches, which brings us to the positive snowball effect. If someone below you has only two branches and um, it's everyone's best interest if they add a third branch. So what if they have four branches? Well, you should encourage them to add a fifth. And if a branch doesn't have an EVA referral yet, you can encourage them to get started because the rewards are unlimited for everyone when you all work together. On all the Viva coin produced in your infinity hubs, you'll earn the following amount depending on the tier of the EVO member in your odd branches. Again, as you can see here, in the chart on the left, you can be rewarded up to 25% of the Viva coin produced. This is truly designed so that everyone works together and everyone gets rewarded fairly. Our ecosystem is built and reliant on a chain of human interaction sharing this incredible home-based tech and now mining business. And lastly, this super cool is super cool. Again, it may seem complex, but with Vivo, not only do we take care of patents, filings, marketing, and logistics for your business, but as you know, we also take care of all the calculations so that you can focus on what you do best. And that's showing your love and excitement for Vivo. So for those who are blockchain savvy or would like to dig more into the calculations, the white paper will be available. I think it's safe to say that everyone trusts Fabio, which means you believe in the product and we have everything to back up all the technical details. But all you need to do is use your life watch features make daily health pivots, share your love for the product or business, bring people into your community and get rewarded. As the saying goes, rinse and repeat, it's that simple. So this part is important and yet another bonus. Whenever an evil member and their branches don't achieve the maximum percentage of the possible earnings from the Vivo hubs, don't worry, the difference will not be lost. And that's what I love about this new reward the most. The difference will be added to the super pool and then divided amongst all EVO members with a weekly EVO tier of 25 or more. So again, the higher the tier, the higher the rewards, which also means that more people are contributing to our mission through a decentralized digital health ecosystem exclusive to VIVO. That enables us to provide even more data towards research with the possibility of medical breakthroughs and with everything going on in the world today, I know you will agree that our health and finances are number one so that we can enjoy our lives to its fullest and help others do the same. And in our business, the more people you help, the more successful you will become. So this slide shows how the shares in the pool are awarded. Achieving tier 25 earns you one share in the pool. Achieving a tier above 25 adds another share. So in this example, tier 29 means that because you achieve tier 25, you get one share. And because you have another four devices bound to your hub, you get four more shares, giving you a total of five shares. So imagine if you had a tier of 30, you'd have six shares total. Now this slide shows another way to earn even more shares. Every EVO branch in your first line earns you one share. So here, if you have five branches in your first line, that gives you an additional five shares. As you can see, it's a motivating effort and reward. This slide is just an example. Okay, so let's say that uh, that, let's say that the super pool has a total of 11,070 Vivo coins and there are 130 Evo members achieving at least tier 25. Some may have a tier of 29 or 35, so they will vary. But for the sake of this example, let's just say that the total amount of pool shares between all of them are 540. So the single value for one share will be the total amount of coins in the pool divided by the number of pool shares. So 11,070 divided by 540, which then awards each member an additional 20 and a half shares. So how many coins does that convert to? Well, let's use a quick example of Alex, which is one of the 130 EVO members to hit tier 25 and above. So here, Alex has an EVO tier of 26. So that rewards him with two shares. Remember that when you achieve tier 25, it gives you one share and every device bound after that gives you another share. 
So next is the second way of earning more shares. So in his first line, he has seven branches, which awards him with seven shares. So now Alex has a total of nine shares. The super pool earnings calculation for Alex will be his nine shares times the 20 and a half shares calculated in the pool on the previous slide, which then awards him with an additional 184.5 Vivo coins. I know it's a lot to take in, but you can see how it can add up quickly in addition to the other rewards in our business plan. We're so excited to roll this extra Vivo opportunity for you as it will strengthen your business and the messages you share about Vivo. If you've been searching for the right legacy I guess it would help if I took off my mute, right? Um, so I wanted to stop right there, guys. This is this is awesome. And what we get to do here is the basics, right? We get in, we start building with others. And as we build our teams and we help them duplicate, we're getting more and more shares. We're also earning more in the, in the hub process. And that's how we're earning tokens. So what this is, is basically, we get to be part of this decentralized digital health platform. We get to get other people using it so that the data gets protected and we, we get to help change the world this direction and we get rewarded for it in this awesome token mining process. And that's what the hubs enable to happen. The more hubs, the more you can earn. That's why having more hubs made sense. That's why, you know, the, the, the package. So right now, everybody that joins with our, I guess it's called the W2 pack. That's what we're rolling out. Um, they, they get some incredible things with it. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go over the details really quick. Um, the link will be below this video and, you know, get the person that showed this to you, but you're going to get the, they're going to get the watch. Okay. That's like a $500 value by itself. All right. It's a $495 kit plus shipping, $530, $540, depending where you're at, give or take if you're international. Um, and this is something we, we already have members coming in from all over the world. Now, the next thing is you get a Vivo debit card and smart band that's thrown in the package that allows you to pay from your commissions and your, and your, your coins you earn, you can you can transfer them in the wallet to, to fiat currency. Anywhere my um, MasterCard is taken, you get a credit card that you can use and also your pay band, right? So they don't take the pay band, you got the card. It, it gives you an easy way to access your, your cryptocurrencies. That's solving a problem that a lot of people have with cryptocurrency. Next thing, um, you get the six hubs, that's a $600 value. And then you get a 30 day subscription to the Smart Life Basic Oracle, which is a, you know, a monthly service fee that's required to, to tie into the reports and be part of the ecosystem. That's $29.95 USD. And, and then we also get paid in, in, a, in a binary cycle pay system. So we build teams on the left, build teams on the right. It, you know, we're, we're part of a community called Triple R247. We help you build, we invest in your marketing and show you how to do it. So get with the person that brought you here, get, get involved with the link below. And then just learn how this all goes. We, we're here to get this around the world. It's going to take a lot of us. It means a lot of opportunity. And we've just done this in a very good way already. And welcome to the team. See you guys on uh, the training and we'll go from there. Bye for now.